I came in and I started from the bottom again. I started answering phones and putting in the invoices and trying to get an, a clue of what the company was about because it had been a, a while from high school to now. And um, from there, it went to quoting. Okay. And that's when I started to figure out what was happening. So what I was quoting and my dad supervising me how to do certain quotes and taking some of the old quotes that seemed similar to the new ones that I was quoting and um, kind of jogging back and forth to see the similarities and that's how I started to learn and test myself how good I was getting with the quoting and then after that I started asking for job sheets wanting to see was I really on target with my quoting and that's when I found out that I was completely out of whack and I started to ask questions out in the shop of why is this taking so much longer than what I'm quoting? And the more questions I asked, the more different answers I received. And I started to be like, this is a red flag. It was an immediate red flag of... Fine. Found out that... Um, I found random things happening, right? So I found my packaging materials were starting to be depleted faster than we were actually shipping jobs. Jobs that were supposed to be completed weren't being completed in an allotted amount of time. Um, and I, I kept you know, going to customers and they were yelling and screaming and saying, why is it taking so long? It's Now we're at six weeks, we're at seven weeks. What is the issue? And of course, I didn't really know. So throughout all that time, I kept reinvestigating and uh, I started to see material shortage and then I kept hearing from um, other prospects and customers about, um, about this competitor. And the name kept resurfacing, resurfacing. And I was like, this is bizarre. And they said, you know what, we're going to cancel your order because we just ordered from your competitor and they got it to us in two weeks. And I go, and then you feel embarrassed, right? So, and they go, and, you know, they beat you by a couple cents. So this started to be a happening thing. It just wasn't once in a while. I kept hearing this name over and over again and they kept beating us by pennies to a dollar. It wasn't a couple bucks, it was by the pennies. So I started to look at um, the, not the travelers per se, because you know, now we have an ERP system with travelers, but I started to look at our prints that go out to the shop. And on there, not only do we have the customer's name, but we also had the quantity on there along with the pricing. And that's when I knew something inside was happening. Oh my. Yeah. So lo and behold, the private investigator comes back and all the guys that were um, out in the shop, that's who was on the, the business 